Hi, I'm Gigi. And I'm Jeff. In any country you go to, move to, or just visit, there's a list of unwritten rules which it's wise to figure out what they are to avoid offense or embarrassment. But most of the time we learn them as we go. Yes. By experience. So here's a little list of some of those. The first rule. Coffee. <laughs> How to order coffee. You ask for a latte, they will bring you milk. If you ask for a coffee, un café, per favore, they expect you to say what kind of coffee. So, like if I wanted to order a coffee for the two of us, vorremmo café, per favore, and then due café macchiati. So now they know we want to order coffee. You need two macchiati coffees. They don't ordinarily drink cappuccino in the afternoon, so that's a that's a morning coffee. Yes. So if you want to try to order that in the afternoon, they're going to look at you like you're. They, they automatically know you're a foreigner. You want a regular coffee is a short coffee. A longo is a tall coffee. Yeah. And they would call this an americano. So right. it's an American coffee because they add water to the coffee. Right. So that's how they arrive. But it's not nearly as normal as what you used to <laughs> in the United States. It's still pretty potent. Yeah. And a latte is milk in yes. Italian. So yeah, you... don't ask for a latte because you get a, a glass of warm milk is what you'll get. A cup of warm milk is what you'll get. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of breakfast, <laughs> the second one, breakfast in Italy is completely different than Yes. British or American breakfast. Yes. Everything is sweet. Yep. Not only do they can have their cappuccino, and they'll have like a brioche or some kind of filled pastry, yeah. but cornetta or yes. something. Something's got some kind of cream filling in it. Definitely. Pretty pretty much yeah. what we would get from a from a donut shop. Right. You know? Pretty much. No eggs. No bacon. Nope. No oatmeal. Nope. Maybe cereal, but I don't mm. even know. It's always sweet yeah. and it's quick. It's not what they consider like any of their main meal. It's on their way, you know, before they have to go to work or wherever they're going to go. Right. But it's very, sweet. very fast. <laughs> yeah, not your typical thing. Now, one, the next one is forbidden combinations. <laughs> <laughs> These are forbidden. <laughs> like if you are going to have a fish meal, even if it has like pasta and stuff, you cannot ask for cheese. You can't put, fit. they will refuse <laughs> to give it to you. It's like you can't have cheese on your fish. So don't ever ask for cheese. Yeah, because it's just not done. Yeah, cocktails. Cocktails or Prosecco or any kind of a sweet spritzer or anything like that, you have before you eat. You don't have anything sweet with your meal because it takes away from the taste of the meal that's supposed to be balanced, I'm assuming. Oh, aperitivo, yeah. yeah. Your aperitivo is before. Yeah. <laughs> You're be and it's like usually a little bit on the sweeter side. You will have wine and beer with your meal. That's it. Yep. That's it. No cocktails, no, no uh, fancy drinks of, you know, of any type or whatever. You don't have those with the meal. No. You never ask for water, tap water. <laughs> you have a choice. It's going to be bottled. It's mm -hmm. either frizzante, no frizzante. It's either bubbly, seltzery, fizzy water, or still water. Right. That is it. You don't. You can't get tap water just because you don't want to pay for water. You can't. They won't give. Well, it to some you. places the tap water is not all that great anyway. So. But they won't give it to you. They'll, you know, and, and a bottle of water is relatively inexpensive. Even right. even when you're dining, the water is the cheapest part of the meal. Well, the meals are not all that expensive either. Right. Uh, for what you get and the quality of what you get, uh, the prices are really good. And it's hard to find a lousy meal. Uh, you, know, you, you really got to stay next to some tourist trap of a place to get some you know, conventional, off-the-shelf type meal or whatever. And I, to be honest with you, like here in Sicily, I don't even know where you could find something like that. Yeah. Every every place there has, people take pride in their food. And that's another thing, like they don't walk around eating. No. You'll never see anyone take like a coffee to go 
I don't ever see a coffee to go. They drink it there. Well, for one thing, it's like really little. It's yeah. like two sips. You stand at a bar and you drink it yeah. and you're done. And if you have your Cornetto, you take the time to appreciate a meal. You don't take it to go. Right. You don't drive around with a coffee. You don't drive around with uh, food. No. You sit and you enjoy right. it and you appreciate it. Well, you know? stand. At the coffee shops, they have a stand-up bar. You just... Eat, eat your eat your uh, whatever you've selected to eat and have your yeah, coffee right. and that's it you're out the door you know yeah. it's quick yeah when you eat a drink you are not driving or walking around however what's one thing that we see every italian have in their hand well <laughs> it amazes me how popular cell phones are Probably everywhere they do. Well, this. yeah, but I mean, they even they still say that there's a lot of people that don't have cell phones. Uh, everyone here has a cell phone, believe me. And, and they drive with the cell phone. They've got the thing glued to they the side of their head. With the cell phone. <laughs> it is so amazing. I, so I think it's everywhere these days. Uh, Let us know if you think there's yeah. everywhere. So, pizza. Uh, pizza. In the United States, <laughs> it is just favorite. In the United States, you get a big pizza and you share it. You don't share your pizza. Mm -hmm. Italians do not mm -hmm. share their pizza. If they, mm -hmm. they get an individual pizza, yes. whatever they want, and they take pride in yeah. finishing <laughs> every last bite of that pizza, you are not going to take a piece of that pizza. Well, the individual pizza here is is small, like a small pizza in the United States. It's maybe maybe ten to twelve inches at the most, and that that may be stretching it. They're probably probably twelve inches. They probably are like twelve inches. They're a good size. It's plenty for the average person. Not so much for me, but for the average person, it, it's plenty. And and Gigi's right. It's just it's you don't do that. You just don't do that. Well, they they it's like prohibited. <laughs> Can't have any of my pizza. highly frowned upon. Yeah. However, some of the things that they put on their pizza, yeah, oh boy, like shocked us. Mm -hmm. Like hot dogs, hot dogs on a pizza, eggs, hard boiled eggs. I, yeah, slice them up, hard boiled eggs. Like greens that are soaked in, in some kind of oil, oil. so it will probably burn. olive oil, all over. Yeah, and um, French, fries. French fries. Gobs of French fries. <laughs> French fries on top of a pizza. It's like carb on top of. <laughs> funny but they but that's how we well the one with the hot dogs one of the guys one time said it's you know yeah that's like the united states I said no it isn't they, they, oh yeah they call it an american pizza yeah i said no one in the united states eats a pizza with hot dogs on it. i guarantee you that <laughs> have any of you eaten pizza with hot dogs on it that's what well, I'm conversely pineapple Ooh. on a pizza in the u.s we, they do have pineapple on pizza i don't care for it at all i, I like it myself it, in in Sis in Italy or Sicily, forget, it, forget about it. You, <laughs> if you right. ask for it, they would probably ask you to leave the establishment. You're not. It's not gonna, you're not going to get it. You know, it's that simple. Yeah, no, they don't want to <laughs> share their pizza, but they have interesting topics. They sure do. Italians, they don't overdrink. You think, okay, everyone, you know, they drink plenty of wine yeah, available. Yeah. It's cheap. Yeah, and it's true. Everyone has wine yeah. or beer with every meal. Yep. Yeah except for breakfast, I yep. think. Maybe even after breakfast, I don't sure. know. But they have an aperitivo, so they have a before a drink, and then they would have their wine or beer with their meal, which would go along with their meal, depending on what it was. And then they would have a digestive, like limoncello or something after. Um, but that's it. Yeah, an amaretto or oh, amaro. Yeah. They might have one of those. Yeah. After, after yeah. dinner type of thing. But they drink with their meal. Now, after we'd, we would be at somebody's house and, and I would be like having just <clears throat> a little bit with my meal. But then I wanted to have some after. And I'm like, Jeff, where did the wine go? Gone. <laughs> it's like, put away. <laughs> There's no more wine. <laughs> when the food is gone, the wine is put away. But then I looked around and I'm like, Jeff, the... The wine is gone. What are you drinking? How come you got to drink it? I didn't get a drink. The men, however, will have a drink after. So I don't think, I don't think, they're like, they look at me funny that I want one too. I think it's just a male thing. I, I don't really know. I'm still trying to figure that one out. What's the next one? The kisses on the cheek oh. when you greet. Yeah. Remember the first time we were here and who was it, Santi? Jeff, uh, may I kiss you? <laughs> and they step back. 
I looked at him, I looked at him like, what? You know, and he didn't mean on the lips, of course, you know, what he meant was the greeting, you know, the, the, the embrace and the, 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 the contact of the cheeks. It's really not a kiss per se, unless it's a relative, uh, somebody very close or whatever. It's really just a touching of the cheeks, right and left, yeah. they do both. So, it gets very confusing if you don't know which side to put your cheek to, mm -hmm. because you can end up, <clears throat> both of you going opposite sides ends up with a lip kiss or a nose kiss. Yeah, <laughs> a bump noises kiss. are a bump. There's no hard and fast rules in doing it, but basically if you turn your right cheek to them, then, and they do, isn't it right cheek? <laughs> <laughs> your right cheek. Here we go. And then your left cheek. Then, and, and don't like just do like a little, you have to turn it. So that you're basically touching the cheek. Well, here's the key. You, you, you gotta watch the other person to see if they're gonna go left or right. Yeah, but that's ordinarily, true. what happens is most people go to the right first because they're right-handed. Yeah. So that means you will embrace and kiss your left cheeks first on yourself, not your, you know, yeah. your partner that you're with. But you will do your left cheek first and then you will do your right cheek because that's, most people just go to the right. It's just a natural uh, reaction. So, but however, we've seen people do it all different kind of ways, bump noses, yeah. foreheads, you know, just stand back and go, holy mackerel, you know, they don't realize what yeah. they, you Usually know. leaning right is more natural, but pick up on right. the cues from, yeah. from other people. That's right. Yeah. And I notice a lot of people in Sicily do it that way, but a lot of Italians from the, from the mainland do it the opposite way. Yeah. And I don't know if that's a, a European influx from up north or whatever, mm -hmm. from the French or coming, I don't know. I don't know what, how they do Which side do you, do you kiss first? It, it really doesn't matter as long as you do it right. Yeah. You only kiss if it was a relative you or cut really like close an ear friend. Kiss, and, like, yeah, it's kind of a, yeah. a cheek, cheek bump more yeah. than anything. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, basically, basically. Okay. If you are going to rent an apartment or buy a house, you ask what floor you would be on. We call it the first floor, which is level with the ground, and then the second floor, and the third floor, and the fourth floor. And so on. Right. But here, you have the ground floor, then the first floor. So what we would call the first floor is the ground floor here. Then the first floor, right. which would be up one, which we would call the second floor. So if you... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that is how they do that, right? Yeah, you, you catch yourself sometimes because, you know, it's all in what you're used to. And being from the U.S., we, you know, ground floor first, second, third, and so on and up the ladder. But here it's not, it's not that way, it's zero is the ground floor tether, which is the, you know, the, the first floor. And then after, and it's zero, and it starts after that, one, two, three, like Gigi just said. So it's just a matter of getting used to these things. Much, much the same as the date, the way they write the oh, date. Oh yeah, that's right. Where they put the, 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 uh, the day first, then the month. Yes. So we would do like, like say August, like January 1st. Well, that's not a good example. Because <laughs> it's one, one month. month. <laughs> Speaking of January 1st, oh, yeah. happy anniversary. You just remembered, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about her all week. Yeah. You know, 44 years, by the way. Yeah. January 1st, yeah. we got married uh, on the same day that mom your mom and dad, dad got married yep. uh, many, many moons ago. Yep. Yes. And uh, it's, it's, uh, a nice time to be able to celebrate it, to have, you know, that day mean something special to us, not just because it's a new year or anything like that, but it's a special day for us and it'll be 44. 44. 44. Yes. Tomorrow. You're Friday. only as old as you feel. Oh, tomorrow's Friday. Oh, tomorrow's I, thought, Friday. I, thought, I thought tomorrow was Thursday. I bet. It's See that? Thursday. What happens when you get retired? You can't remember what day it is. <laughs> I don't know. I think part of it too, with the pandemic, everyone's confused what yeah, day it is. Yeah. And, you know, well, you stay in the house most of the time, and yeah. you know you're not out and about much. So you know yeah. it's like it's like Groundhog Day, right? Every day seems like the same thing over and over and over. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway. So we're back in the red zone, but yes. just um, for four days, <clears throat> I think four days, and then back yeah. to orange. And yeah. I don't know after that if we'll be back in yellow. Mm -hmm. And one more little tidbit about, you know, we went over some of the things that you do's and don'ts. 
driving in, uh, in we didn't add that one. So I'm just gonna add a tidbit. Uh, when you drive in, in Italy or in Sicily, I just remember drive safe and signs and traffic lights are only a suggestion. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see a stop sign and then nobody's stopping, then I have, I have literally followed the police cars <laughs> then right behind them and gone right through stop signs and not barely even yeah. slowing down. Yeah, it's different. It's very different here. Yeah. It's just a suggestion. <laughs> and if you do come to a stop at a stop stop sign and there's no uh, traffic impeding your way, if there's somebody behind you, they're probably going to start blowing the horn. Yeah. So just expect it. Yeah. Yeah, because... If someone wants to walk across the street, they'll press the button and the, the light. But once they see the person walk, then they just go. They don't wait for the light to change. <laughs> right. And you going down the highway at 90 miles an hour, stay right on and blink their lights at you and blow their horn. Yeah. When they pass, too. Like, I don't know. I think Sicilians are like me, which I'm very Sicilian. We don't have any... <laughs> like, wonder why. We don't have any sense of space. Depth perception. Like even the people, when they're walking, mm. they will walk right towards you. And then at the last minute realize, oh, something's there and then they'll go around you. But they head right at you. They don't like automatically walk to the left or the right or anything. It's just, it's different. So they drive like that too. So when they think that they're ahead of you in the car, they almost clip you. As yeah, they'll almost take your left front fender Even off. Even if they have because space they'll just, ahead of them. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> You gotta watch it, but you know, oddly enough, they don't have a whole pile of accidents there. No, you know, you don't, you don't see every once in a while. You'll see them. Usually, it's a, a scooter yeah. get tangled up with a yeah, car. Yeah, because or they something. think they, they can just go yeah. around people. They pass you on the right, pass you on the yeah. left. They pass you where they shouldn't pass you. And yeah. just, it's it's it's, it's really aggressive, and yeah. you know. But you get used to it after a while. It's like anything. You get you know. You do it enough, you get used to it. We never thought we would get over a hundred subscribers. So yes. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll try to keep things coming. Yeah. It, it's hard during the COVID thing right now. We're back again in the red zone. Yeah, red the zone. The lockdown red. thing. So, you know, you can't really leave your village and, uh, you know, there's only so many times you can, you can, uh, you know, put the same stuff on the, on the uh, video. And there's only so many places you can get some material to work with, but we try to keep it going to keep it interesting. Hence these 10, 10 questions or 10 points of interest for those of you that have maybe have never traveled here, and even for some that have traveled here and just didn't know these things.